It took Genzel and his team nearly 10 years to develop an infrared telescope capable of seeing enough detail through the clouds of dust and gas surrounding the galactic center. It took them a further 13 years of painstaking observations before they saw the thing they were looking for. A star orbiting exceptionally close to the center. Genzel knew that measuring the star's orbit could tell him about whatever it was orbiting. So what we're seeing here are the innermost stars. This green cross, that's the center of the Milky Way Sagittarius A star. So in 2002, this star here was very close to this. In the next year, see, it has moved quite a substantial distance. Because the galactic center is so far away, this minute change means the star is moving incredibly fast. The separation which you see here is quite an enormous distance. Okay, it's are several light weeks. And how far is that in kilometers? Okay. <laughs> so we have an hour, and then we have a day, and then we take a week, and then we have the speed of light. And so in kilometers, okay, wow, is that a big number? 180 billion kilometers. Let me just check this, so. Yeah, 180, 180 billion kilometers. I can't deal with that number. Uh, hard to imagine what 180 billion kilometers is. Once you know the size of a star's orbit and the time it takes to go round, it's a relatively simple calculation to work out the mass of the object it's orbiting. Although tracking a single star would be enough to measure the mass of the central object, Professor Gensel has mapped the orbits of the 30 stars closest to the galactic center. Here we have the innermost stars. In these orbits, we determine uniquely from the motion we have tracked over the years so it takes S2, this innermost star, 15 years to move once around the center of the Milky Way here. The other stars are slower. Some of them take several hundred years to move around. From the size of each of these orbits and the speed the stars were traveling, Professor Gensel calculated the mass of the central object. And it was truly astronomical. From these two numbers, you already can determine uniquely the central mass. And we can do this for each of these stars. And we find that the, the mass is always the same. It's four million times the mass of the sun. Because the closest stars pass so near to the center, this extraordinary mass, four million times heavier than the sun, must be in a very small space. That really clinches this, because nothing fits in there into this relatively small volume other than a massive black hole. 